Good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, just a little bit north of Denver here, about 25, 30 minutes or so, right on I-25. Super easy to access on the frontage road. This morning, I know I say this all the time, but I'm really excited to show this one to you guys. It is super cool. I think it's been here about a week now. It is. It just came from Outlaw, so it is going to be a brand new 2023 Cimarron North Star with a full Outlaw conversion in it. So we're going to take you through this entire trailer, nose to tail, and show you everything it has to offer. It is fully loaded, so just hang with us and check all check it all out. So we're going to start with the Cimarron drawing and show you guys kind of what the floor plan looks like. So we'll get that pulled up. So overall on the floor, you are looking at a 34 foot, six inch floor length with a eight foot, two inch gooseneck nose. So pretty manageable for what this trailer is. You're gonna have a 14 foot nine short wall on it, which is one of our most popular short walls right now. Back in the stall area, you're gonna get 13 feet and nine inches with a six foot short wall or long wall on that rear tack there. So it's gonna be a side load with your full width rear tack. Your last stall is gonna end up being a 48 inch wide stall because um, because of that side load, it makes it just a little bit wider. You're gonna have those airflow dividers in there. And then up front, we're actually gonna pull up the outlaw drawing and show you guys that too. So I'm gonna pull it up and go through it with you. Again, it is that 14 foot nine inch short wall you're gonna have um, jam-packed full of features in this 14 foot nine short wall. So you're gonna have your queen mattress up in the nose. Then you're gonna have on your drop wall there, you're gonna have your 72 inch sofa sleeper. It does pull out into that bed there, even with the slide out in, which is a really nice feature. And then in that slide out, you're gonna have your 72 inch dinette, which also turns into a sleeper. So lots of sleeping space inside this trailer and it is gonna have that full bathroom for you guys with that pass through to your stall space. So, like I said, lots of stuff going on inside this trailer, but I'm really excited to just take you through it right now and show you what it looks like in person. Start right here on the outside. We do have an electric awning that will come out with the push of a button. So if you are hanging outside here with your friends, you can have that shade cover and kind of just make the most of your time out here, even though there is lots of space inside. You're gonna have your fold down step to get inside of this LQ. And then this is one of my favorite doors that Outlaw has been doing lately. It's their brand new Challenger door. So it's really cool. It's on a gas shock and it's just gonna open for you guys, which I love. And then it does have this separate screen here that comes, comes separate from the door. So you have this screen door, but my favorite part about this screen door is this expanded aluminum right here that goes over the screen. So if you're like me, um, maybe you have dogs, maybe you don't, but if you do have dogs, this works really well to keep them um, from, pre like prevent them from getting through this screen. I know I have got smaller dogs and they want to come everywhere with me. So if I leave them inside, they're gonna push on the screen, chew it up and get out. This just prevents that. It just makes for a super sturdy door. And then it does have your glass, your sliding glass piece here just to cover that all the way so it does prevent you from getting any bugs inside of here. So let's go ahead and step inside. Got our AC running right now. We're gonna go ahead and just flip that off so you guys can hear me. Um, I love the colors. I love the design inside of this one really cool. I'm just going to step back and show you my favorite part on actually the floor in this one. I love the, the pattern to it as well as the color. It really is going to brighten it up and make it look a lot bigger having that lighter tone to it. And we'll just start right here in the bathroom while I'm back here and then just kind of work our way forward as we get out of this trailer. So like I mentioned, we do have the pass through that gets you to your stall area. This one does have that stud wall on the front, which we'll show you when we get back there. But if you did end up using that just as storage or an extra closet, it works really well to have this pass through just to get to that and access um, anything that you might have stored back there and just keep it, keep it all together without having to get outside of your trailer. This is a double rod closet here with an automatic light. So your light turns on as you open the doors. 
double rod, meaning you're gonna have those two clothes bars there to hang lots and lots of clothes. I know if you are with this trailer, you're probably spending a lot of time on the road, you're bringing a lot of clothes with you. You can hang them all back up here and more. And then it does have your extra cushion in here for when you turn that dinette into a bed. So you have that back here, as well as another standing table. Those can be removed, obviously, for more space. But again, you'll notice as I shut it, the light does turn off in there. You have your full bathroom vanity here. Lots of shelving on the inside of this mirror for storing all of your bathroom essentials in there. And then the shelving does have that lip on it. So that way, when you do stick that stuff in there and then you go to open those doors, it's not going to come falling out at you like on an airplane. Now, objects may shift in flight, right? It's not going to come out and get you. Really pretty sink that they've done here with this that waterfall spout that comes off of there. Just adding just the little details, making this nice, comfortable home away from home. The tooled seat cover here on your toilet. Again, just little details, making it really nice for you guys. And then behind your toilet, you're gonna have another closet here. I think Outlaw does a fantastic job of just utilizing all the space inside of this trailer. You're gonna have storage everywhere. Like I said, you're probably spending a lot of time side of this trailer just letting you store I mean you can see there's doors and cabinets everywhere and then of course your shower your last part inside of here magnetic doors and then that skylight up above so it does make it feel a lot bigger in there and obviously does make it taller if you're like me and you have you need more head clearance up there that actually gives you lots of space inside of this shower and does have the removable handle as well So out here in your dinette, your dinette is in that slide out. I love the dinettes because of the storage space it gives you under the bench seats. These drawers are huge. They're really deep, they're really long. Uh, I could see this being a great spe space for storing the bedding that you would use on your dinette sleeper or your sofa sleeper. Just putting all that bedding back in here and sliding it out of the way. I think that's a great storage spot for that. And it is, again, really easy to convert this to a bed. You're gonna have your clamps down here that you're just going to unclamp and you'll slide this table down so it sits on these rails here and then that cushion that we showed you guys earlier in that closet will lay over the top and all these will slide down and make it into that 72 inch bed for you you'll notice i do have my day blinds closed right now these actually are day and night blinds so right now the day version is closed and then you do have a night version on all of these down in the middle there so it turns it a darker gray there it's really going to block out all the light for you guys if you are rodeoing out of this trailer you know that the lights really never turn off you're going to have street lights you're going to have other people's rigs with their lights going just nice to block all that out and get it nice and dark and quiet in here for when you do end up sleeping in here even at horse shows i know they're going to have street lights as well and just parking next to other people. So great to have that day and night version. And then over here, your other 72 inch sofa sleeper. Again, this is going to slide down into a bed, even with this slide out slid in, which is really cool. This layout was actually our National Western Stock Show demo layout that we had down there. And again, it was so popular. They really liked that you could have the seating area with the table as well as a sofa. So if you want to just come in and sit and hang out, you can do so. You can also eat at the table. And then what's been really big for having that dinette is for people who are working on the road, working from home. You got your laptop with you. You got your paperwork. And you just want to spread that all out and work on the go. That's been a huge selling point lately is people come when they want that dinette to work off of, especially, you know, these times that we have, we've gone through and we are actually doing a lot more work out of the office. And again, making great use of cabinet space everywhere in these outlaws, really high quality construction and then just utilizing the space. And then I'll let you guys peek up in that bed area there. It is a queen size mattress. I do have my day blinds closed up there. You can have night blinds as well. And there is gonna be a 24 inch smart TV up there. So you guys do have your TV up there. And again, check out all that cabinet space that they have to offer up there as well. 
And then you'll notice as you're coming out, there is a, a, there is a privacy wall here as well as a pocket door. So it does really get you guys I know I mentioned these other two sleeping areas in here. If you are sleeping with friends or company, hauling companions, um, children, anything like that, having this pocket door just gives you the privacy, gives you more quietness in there, but gives you your own space. So you are separate from anyone else sleeping in this trailer. There's a lot of people that do like that privacy. Uh, it has the stairs going up in there and then you can close it and just keep away. And there's a lot of people that don't, so personal preference, but I know that has been very popular lately as well. And then finishing in our kitchen area here, you are gonna have your kitchen sink, which does have a cover on it. Really nice size, I think generous sized kitchen sink for what this short wall is. I know my trailer was maybe a little bit smaller and it had a very small sink, so I think that's a great size. And then you do have your recessed two burner cooktop. I do like how it is down there. I mean, hit or miss either way again, I like that it's down inside of the countertop so that you can close this and then have full counter space again. There's a lot of people that don't prefer that because now you are limited on pot size. So it just depends how much you are going to utilize this stove. Um, I personally will, will probably end up bringing a grill with us and grilling outside, but they, there are people that will cook off this as well. And then you do have a convection microwave oven so that just gives you even more Cooking abilities having this as well. Again, cabinet space everywhere. Over here we do have a 32 inch smart TV facing. It does swivel, it is on an arm so it can swivel. You can use it when you're at the dinette, you can use it when you're at the sofa. It works really well for just anyone in this space here. And then you did have your 24 inch up in your nose. And then you do have your 6.0 fridge and freezer combination on this trailer. Because of that 32 inch TV, you're going to have the 6.0. You can bump this up to an 8.0 in this short wall, but then you are changing this to a 24 inch TV. Um, I had a customer going through that recently. So kind of just got to play with designs, functionality, and choose which, which features are more important to you if you'd rather have more space here. Smaller TV, vice versa. Lots of options you can really do inside of this space. And then we do have three drawers here as well. And then inside of this, um, this size short wall, you're going to get a 60 gallon fresh water tank. You'll get 30 gallon black and 30 gallon gray tank size. Up above, as you step out, you do have a hat rack here for those that do have cowboy hats on board. Really great to store them right here. And then right here, you're going to have your slide out room control. It is electric slide out. So you have your push button here, your awning, like I mentioned, was a simple push of a button. Water heater tank, and then you guys will notice this light is on. I do have your generator running right now. So I know I came in and turned off that AC, but I did have the generator running the entire time. Couldn't even hear it, didn't even know it was going. So it, just to show you guys how quiet it actually is inside of this LQ, you would never know that it was running right now unless you stepped outside and got even towards the back of your trailers when you could actually start to hear it. So really just nice to know that it is quiet and you can still get quality sleep with that running. And even outside, I know I, I just shut it off as we get back here, but even outside, it's really not that loud. They are really quiet generators. So if you are running it at a rodeo or at a horse show in your park next to neighbors and stuff like that, even they won't be too disturbed by it because it is very quiet. You do have a full length LED strip light under that awning. Makes for great lighting purposes outside. If you do have that awning out and you're hanging out with friends, it also just looks really cool. On this trailer, we did do drop downs on both sides. So you're gonna have drops on the head side and we upgraded to drops on the hip side here, giving you guys even more airflow. If you're running the Texas circuit down there, it's really hot right now. I think they were pushing 115 even. So just giving you guys the more airflow in there. They do clip in, so they do clip in once they're down. So you guys can run with these down and the wind is not gonna catch them and blow them around. They are designed to run with them down. But inside, 
They also have that sliding bus window if you don't need them all the way dropped. You can just slide those open as well. Down below, we're going to have two 9,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles on this guy. They got big Continentals on them right now. They're 17.5 inch wheels with your Alcoa rims. They make it look really sharp. And then this one is a side load, but in your side load door, you also have a drop down window. Really, like I said, this one is very loaded. Lots of amenities on this one. So stepping up your side load ramp inside of your stall space here. Using my sunglasses there. We'll start up front here. Like I mentioned earlier, you did have this walk through door to your bathroom and then you have this stud wall. So all this space right here will be really great for extra storage if you don't need to haul four horses down the road. This one, this stall could work really well for storage purposes, just having this stud wall here and then it has that escape door on the head side. So I do have customers who will keep this shut and then they will use that escape door as their entrance. So once we get around to the head side, I can show you, but this whole door opens up and then they'll keep that shut and they'll use this actually as their entrance into the trailer. So they'll come through here, take off their muddy shoes, take off their muddy boots, take off their muddy jackets, throw it all right here and then walk straight into the bathroom of the LQ. Take a shower, get nice and clean before you get into that stunning outlaw conversion up front. Lots of versatility inside of this trailer. Fully lined with your kick mats, even on your mangers. You do have padding on the dividers and then we have upgraded to worm flooring on this one. That is a huge selling feature for a lot of people. It's really nice because you will still run shavings on this. It does not drain through or absorb the urine or anything like that. So you still are gonna wanna run shavings throughout this trailer. But what's really cool is that it is a permanent rubber mat essentially. So you don't have to worry about your shavings getting in any seams or getting under the mats and then having the urine soaked shavings underneath your mats. You don't have to worry about pulling those out. All you gotta do is just strip the shavings out and spray this off. Maybe lift up your jack so it's running backwards and just run all this water straight out of here really easy to maintain and then it doesn't get underneath and get to those floors like I said you do have your airflow dividers in here so with your airflows your drops on your head and your hip and then your lined and insulated roof you are having the best chance to keep your horses nice and cool inside of this trailer is really well set up you're gonna have your mangers in this one you're also gonna have two tie rings per stall so if you did I know my horses if I put if I put hay in here and they start eating away at it, they're going to start pulling it and pulling it with their nose and end up pulling it out of the mangers. So what I do is I will use one tie ring to clip onto their halters and tie them up. And then I will use the other tie ring to hang like a hay net or a hay bag. So that way they have to actually pick the hay out of the bag itself and then whatever extra falls into here. And then if you are traveling long distances on the road and you do water them as you go, you can just drop these windows reach up in here and just set a bucket right here let them drink out of the bucket for a little while while you're stopped and then pull it back out and keep on going down the road you could even leave it in here but really versatile having the mangers for that purpose as well as underneath when we get to that head side and just that storage space too and i'm going to show you guys this last divider here because it's really cool it is because it is the siloed we would do want to make sure these trailers are the most horse friendly and safe as possible Typically, it would be right here. So this is, didn't quite get it in there, but this is where it would be if it didn't have the breakover. We went ahead, I mean, this is just, to us, it's not safe enough. It's just too narrow. So we went ahead and added a breakover. Really easy to use these two AR latches here. You're just gonna pop them up show you guys they're right here they're really cool you're just gonna pull them up stick them to the side mm -hmm. and then your divider breaks all the way over and kind of tucks away into all this negative space right here and now you just opened up this stall so much more to get this horse in here get your third horse loaded and then you just pop it back over 
instructions. Simple as that. And now you have for your fourth horse. Okay, we'll step out of here. As we step out, you'll notice up there we do have a little head bumper as well. Just trying to keep everything as safe as possible on these Cimarrons for your horses. Back here we do have that full width rear tack. It is six foot on that long wall like we saw in our Cimarron drawing. I do have everything pulled out right now so you could see how it would look with everything pulled out on its fully extended gas shock here. So you'll notice that your blanket bars and your saddle rack bars, they're not going to interfere with each other. So in some trailers that does happen, and that's just what we have to work with in that space. I really like how this one is set up that that does not happen. So if you're over here or over there unsaddling your horse, you've got your saddle on one hip and then you've got your pads here, or maybe it's all together. It's going to be really easy for you guys to just come over here, throw your saddle on a rack, throw your pads right here, and then you're back to hands free. You don't have to do one or the other and then kind of play with, fold one in, fold one out, anything like that. They're both fully extended right now. Throw your stuff on there and then fold it back in. I myself have a Cimarron now, just bought one last week and I've already used it a bunch. But what I've noticed about these saddle racks so far, and I was really excited to get them and now I'm even more excited about them now that I have one, is that they are, it may seem like a little bit harder to use to begin with because they are on such a serious gas shock that it does take some umph to kind of get it in motion. But what's really cool is when you do have your heavy rope saddle, or I know barrel saddles aren't super heavy, but you do have a heavy rope saddle and you're coming to throw it up on here and get it off your arms, it's not gonna run away from you. Like my other trailer that I had that had these swing out saddle racks, when I'd throw my saddle up there and I'd start pushing it on there, it would start folding in. And I'm like, no, 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 come back here. I don't have enough hands right now to be worrying about that. So what's really cool is you go throw your saddle on here and it just stays, it's stuck, it's not going anywhere. And then once you do get your saddle up on here, your saddle's not going anywhere. So I thought that was super cool. Once I threw my saddle up there, it, the gullet sat right over this wither block here and just kind of found its home. It just like fell into place and it just felt so solid and secure. So when you have that Western saddle of yours, whether it be a rope saddle, barrel saddle, show saddle, could be an English saddle too, any kind of saddle. I know how much that we, I know how much I spend on mine and know you guys are spending more similar amounts on yours. You wanna to wanna to put it on something that's not gonna fall off and then end up on the ground, bending your leather, getting it all dirty, messing it up. It just made me so peace of mind, just comfortable in knowing that when I threw it up there, it was stuck and it wasn't going anywhere. So really great feature, really great selling point for me and I hope it is for you guys too. It's gonna to keep your tech exactly where you put it. And then these are fully adjustable. So I was able to kind of mess with it a little bit, slide these up and down, get it to where I had enough space in between each saddle and to also where I could clear my door up top. Mine's not quite this big, it's just the front tack, but being able for my horn my, on my top saddle to clear that door and then down here, my stirrups to get in without bending too much. It's really cool to just have that versatility and adjustability on these guys. And then your saddle pads being on that gas shock as well. Once you get them on here, fold them in. They're not going anywhere. Huge brush box. I've been super excited to set mine up on my trailer. Just, they're really big. I'll get this stuff out of here so you guys can see. It does have those three different pockets in there, I would say. So when you do get your stuff in there, it's not gonna slide around. You can kind of organize it how you need to. Get all your sprays in one, get all your brushes in one. Lots of space inside of there. Fully carpeted door. I love that feature. So if does stuff does wrap up on there, it's not gonna leave those black streaks. And then inside of here, it might surprise you how much space you get inside of here as well. So over here, we'll start you guys over here. You are gonna have a huge half moon shape water tank. It does fill from the top. And then you've got two spigots down below for draining. If you wanna set a bucket under one or use that hose that we saw in our brush tray out there on the door, put your hose on there, run it out the door and then fill buckets, wash things off, wash off your boots, wash off your sport boots. That'd be really cool for that. Fully carpeted partition wall as well. Mine's fully carpeted and I've loved that so far. Being able to hang all your bridles here. You got halters, you got tie downs, you got all kinds of clips, conchos, um, anything that's metal that's gonna rub on this, your rain clips, stuff like that. 
And then even when you set stuff on the floor and it's sitting down here and it's gonna hit your wall here, being fully carpeted just protects your wall and protects all of your tack and whatever else you have stored in here. Over here, you're gonna have your fuel tank for your generator. It does have that onboard generator that we talked about. So your fuel tanks over here will fill it on the outside. But then you do have ample floor space down here as well. That's gonna be a shore power cord over there. And then up top, you do have those metal shelves. We see them in our front, front tacks, our RTG models. We do do it on our rear tacks as well. It does have a two inch lip with that rubber piece inside that very standard we're used to seeing. That's been great to just get stuff up off the floor and then not have to worry about it coming off either. So even more storage space in these. And I've seen people build them where maybe they have their saddle racks over here and then they extend this, they make it an even wider tack and then they throw a bunch of shelves over there on that wall. You guys can really build these however. They are a full custom build. This is just one that we have built personally here at TransWest. We've designed this one. We actually design all of our inventory for you guys. Make them a little bit different, give everyone different options and features to pick from. But you can design your own as well, full custom. And then we're going to take you guys up the ladder, show you what it looks like up top. So you're going to have that integrated hay pod that we talked about. You'll see that that lid does lift all the way up. It is on gas shocks as well, so it's going to kind of help it lift up and then help it come down. And then off to the right of that, we do have our generator box. You're going to have that own in 4K inside of there. And I will show you guys over here where we fill that fuel up for our generator. It's going to be right here. So really easy to just pull through a truck stop. You guys are probably already there filling up your trucks, right? So you're going to stick, just pull up a little bit further and fill up with gasoline, not diesel on this one. Fill up your fuel right here. And then your generator's up top in that box. Well, easy inside to just push that button that we showed you guys to get it started. So over on our head side here, we do have drop downs over here as well. So I've got one of them drop down to show you guys just how big these windows are like we saw on the other side. You can drop them down and then they do clip in to these rubber grommets here. So that way if you want to leave them like this driving down the road, they're not catching that wind and blowing around does have the jail bars though, so that your horse cannot get its head outside the window. But if you are stopped somewhere and you do want to check on them, or how we talked about earlier, getting, getting a water bucket inside of there, or filling hay bags, anything like that, maybe you want to throw some more hay in that manger, it's really easy. You actually have a fold down step here, which is really cool. for this stall at least. You could step here and check on them that way. But the rest of them, I mean, you can find, be creative, step on your tires there. Get up in there, check on your horses, feed them, water them, throw those bars back up, and then get back on the road. They are designed to slam, so don't be worried about slamming them, guys. They are airtight seals. They're meant to do that. And then underneath, you're going to have your mangers. So like I talked about inside, how nice they were for inside your stall area. And then I mentioned how much storage you get out here as well. Check these out. Check out all you get inside of this. So this space works really well for grain bags. I've actually used this space perfectly to hold your grain bags up. And then it kind of works as like a little feed room. On it also works really well for your shore power core. If you don't have room in that tack room back there where it was, you can move it up here. You can keep, I mean, this is long, so you keep pitchforks in here, brooms. I've used this for my extra water buckets, feed bins, all kinds of stuff. It's really great to just, you can never have too much storage. Now you do have your hay pot up top and then you do have your full rear tack, but now you've got mangers too. And even on your escape door, you're gonna have its own manger on the escape door with its own compartment here as well. So even more storage. I think Outlaw and Cimarron combined really just do such a fantastic job of utilizing all the space and not leaving any empty space. So then this is that area I was talking about that could be great for a mudroom if you're not hauling forehead on here. I've had customers use this and will continue to use it as their mudroom. They actually have customers who will order them without, without the manger on this door and then they add a secondary latch here so that you can actually lock it from the inside and that way your trailer is 100% locked 
on all doors. So if you are spending the night in it, just more peace of mind. Over on this side, you're gonna have your power cord right here. So that well, the power cord that we saw plugs in right here. City water connection, if you are at a hookup and you're hooking up to city water, you're just gonna hook up there. And then right below that is your drain for your black and gray tanks. Got your slide out right here. And then up front, we have our fresh water fill. So if you are just filling your tanks, you can fill it right here. And then it actually does have an outdoor spigot as well. So if you did need water, it will come out of your fresh tank there. So if you are needing water for filling up water buckets out here, I think that's great for that. Just make sure you keep your fresh tank filled because you do have that water tank in the back that's not pressurized for water as well. So up underneath this nose, got a lot going on in here as well. We do have, we'll just start over here and work our way across. You do have your air ride control over there. It's really easy to use. You flip the on button, flip it to raise, and then it will lift, put your trailer on those airbags, lift it up and give your horses a very smooth ride. And then when you're done with it, you turn it off and turn it to lower. And then you have this little cord here, which is very important to use. It will drain itself, but it won't completely drain. So once you are done with it, you're just gonna pull down on this. There's not any air in there right now, but pull straight down on this and it will drain any excess air that's in those lines. Very important to do because if you do continue to leave air in those lines, it will produce condensation and then you're gonna get water in those lines and we don't want water in air lines. So it is good even to forget here and there, but just make sure you are pretty consistent about getting that drained. And here you have your aluminum battery box does come with two house batteries. With your air ride system, you do get a third battery that is for that. And then you have your battery disconnect switch in here. So you can turn your batteries on and off. Whenever you're plugged in, you do wanna leave that on so it does charge your batteries. But if you get to where you're going and you can't remember if you left on a bathroom light or something, you're in a hurry, unhook your trailer, come up here and just flip that off and you don't have to worry about draining your batteries. Underneath your aluminum battery box, you do get two 30 pound propane tanks. So we got the big ones on here, gives you ample storage for your propane. And a lot of trailers will come with your 15 or 20 pounders. You're gonna get two 30 pounders on this guy. Matching spare tire, of course, brand new, matches the rest and the wheel matches the rest too. So when you do, if you ever have to change a tire, it will look the same, it will not look any different. And then also is really cool that it is matching so you can kind of rotate it through when you do rotate your tires, you can rotate through, rotate this one through that progression. So that way you do get use out of this one and you're not just replacing it every four years when you replace your other ones, just because you actually get some use out of it dual electric hydraulic jacks here this is going to be your hydraulic fluid tank over here you do also have electric over hydraulic disc brakes on this guy so that's what this is for here you want to make sure that stays full and then underneath here in this little pvc pipe this is going to be your hoses for draining those black and gray tanks this one being a brand new Cimarron, they are 100% aluminum construction, aluminum floor. Do have the strongest floor on the market with cross members every four inches, strongest upright posts on the market. But being brand new, you are gonna get an eight year structure warranty. You are gonna get three year hitch to bumper, body and hardware, so everything else. And then you do get one year on your roof sealants as well. And then being a full outlaw conversion, you are also going to get three full years on everything inside of that outlaw too which is super cool because most of the time if you look up let's say maybe your microwave warranty it's only going to be good for one year outlaw actually is going to cover that for three full years so if anything does happen to that microwave because they installed it it is covered under their warranty you get a brand new microwave so really cool they also do offer 24 7 tech support i'll call it so if you guys do have an issue with it you're on the road you just finish slack at 1 a.m., get to your trailer and something's wrong, give them a call. They're happy to help, happy to walk you through anything. 
and so are we here at TransWest. So lots of great support that you have behind this trailer, but also tons of peace of mind knowing how well these Cimarron's and Outlaws are built for both you and your horses. We'll come over here and check out our stock ID on this one. It is on the lot right now and it is actually still available. So if you guys want to check this one out, it is online, 5N221511. Again, that 2023 Cimarron North Star, North Star Four Horse LQ. This is a four horse with that 14.9 short wall. Lots of upgrades between your integrated pod, your full outlaw conversion. This one does have backup lights, amber turn signals, airflow dividers, 9K air ride axles. I got a whole list in front of me, of everything that we just covered. If you guys want to see the specs on this one, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All my contact info shows up on your screen for this guy. Again, my name is Michaela Geis. That cell phone is 303-918-6367. I'd be glad to show it to you guys in person, send you any specific pictures or videos of it. If you're buying it from afar, just give me a call. I'm glad to help you guys out. Thank you so much for tuning in, checking out another beautiful Cimarron we have here. And I'll see you guys again next week.